Hello, hello, hello. In today's video, um, I'm going to finally get around to painting the Leviathan Tyranids. Uh, this is just going to be a test for how I want to do my colour scheme. This is going to be inspired by the High Fleet Kraken Tyranid from this video by Trevorian Miniatures. I'll pop a picture of it up on screen or something, or I'll put it in the description. Just, just go find it. It's, it's a really good video, especially if you're just starting out your new Tyranid army. Uh, yeah, and I'm just going to be trying out the colour scheme, seeing if it's any good. Maybe improving on it a bit. But on that note, let's get into it. So I started off this model by just slapping a sort of tan contrast paint over the whole thing. Or just where the body is, not the carapace stuff. Now usually I don't like using contrast paints because I feel like I have a lack of control over them and they go everywhere and they stain and it's all weird. But I found if I just use a regular paint to highlight over that, then it's not too bad and it's really good for getting a nice base coat down if you don't want anything too opaque. After this I did a quick coat of corn red over the whole carapacey bit, including the ones on his like knees and stuff. And then before I got into highlighting that, I wanted to do this sort of pattern on it. So I got some dark brown and just did some dots over there. It looks kind of like a giraffe, if you've ever seen one of those. What do I mean if you've ever seen Of course you have seen a giraffe. But you know, and I think this is very cool, as it adds a lot of like, sort of life to it, you know? It's not like all blocking colouring book. It's like a real animal sort of looking thing. I think it looks quite cool. And then highlighted up with a couple reds on the carapace. And then loosely did a little bit of black templar, very watered down over that, just to sort of add a little bit of shading into the cracks in between. I also threw this in a couple more layers over stuff like his claws, his gun, and his teeth. I got this quite opaque on there because I didn't want them to be too see-through and grey, because later on I highlighted them with a grey. After this I used some contrast paint on all of his weird gun bits and his tongue and eyes, and then just to add a bit of highlighting to that I used a nice light blue. After all this the model was pretty much done and I just moved on to basing. So here he is all finished up, focus please, there we go, I'm very happy with him. I like the little scales, the red looks great, I really like the bright blue on his face and gun, that looks awesome. Uh, but the only step left is basing him. And so, I don't know, so let's do that. Luckily these are push fit models so I just have to sort of pull him out. I'm hoping not to damage him. Oh, that was easy! I remember doing that with the Terminators from this box and it was near impossible. Cool. Hopefully they just pop out. Please don't break. Ouch! Okay. Yeah, there we go. Um, cool. So, for this base, I'm thinking sort of a, a desert, and a lot of the other Tyranid models in the Leviathan box and stuff like the Norn Emissary, uh, they've got this sort of industrial stuff built into their base. You know, with sort of pipes and weird iron and stuff. I don't know. There's metal everywhere. And so what I've got is some of these little 3D printer supports. I'm going to use this as sort of, I don't know, metal, broken stuff. And I'm going to set it all in some sand. So let, let's get into it. I've got a full tutorial on how I do my desert bases on my channel, I'll put a link to that somewhere. But to summarise it, take model off base, put on sand, add in some skulls and rubble and stuff, xenothal and paint tan. And then that was just done. I'm really happy with it. Can't wait to do some of the bigger bugs like this. Subscribe to see that. Goodbye. Finally, I get to put you on the shelf.